Good morning, y'all. May 27, 2020. Hope everybody's well. Today, I want to talk about statements that Trump, uh, the president, had tweeted uh, about voter fraud happening or potential voter fraud in Michigan and Nevada as he had thought they had sent out absentee ballots. What they've done is they sent out absentee ballots for registering in those two states. Although the Secretary of State in Michigan in the past history, as well as many other states, you know, was busted giving out people's names and addresses when they'd register their license plates years ago. And it's a huge lawsuit. So to think people aren't crooked would be kind of like stupid. You know, I lived in New Orleans for a couple of years in my late teens, early 20s. You learn right away to get to know people and love the ones you can and trust the ones you can and freaking watch out because somebody's going to rob you. Human nature can be very ugly. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean somebody's not after you. Donald Trump today. Just because you're paranoid, Don, doesn't mean somebody's not after you. The Democrats are after you. So the New York Post and, the, you know, the Washington Post, I'm sorry, and the New York Times. Yeah, the New, the New York Post, it should be posted. So you can't go. Um are both complaining that Trump is saying that, you know, Dems are going to rig the system through, you know, illegal voting through the mail. And there's really no proof of that. And that's what the New York Times and the Washington Post, which is shit paper, you know, online, and uh, try to charge you to think, and their thoughts are flawed. And uh, the reality is logic works here over emotion. You got to go with facts, not whimsy. You know, um, it's obvious anytime voting is changed from the status quo to predominantly mail in or whatever, there's always a chance to rig it and uh, to rig an election. It's the oldest trick in the book. It's been going on since the beginning of time. Human nature, the things Trump was saying might not be founded in specific facts yet, but the reality is we know. Uh, people who have came here illegally have voted in California for 20 years. Um, people like Pelosi and Schumer, they've tried to get illegals the right to vote that aren't even citizens. We know there are hundreds of thousands of people in California on, on the welfare system and uh, Medicaid and Medicare that shouldn't be, that aren't citizens in California and as well as other places. So, yeah, Trump may be paranoid, but somebody is out to get him. It'd be the Democrats in this case. No, I'm not really a Trump supporter, although I know you leftists are just wishing I was so you could say something shitty to me. The reality is be an independent, be a libertarian, get in the friggin' middle, and don't pay attention to stupid, illogical, non-factual stuff. Obviously, voting in the mail, and you can tell by any article you read, if you want to know how to do this, look at these articles and see them say, oh, with the coronavirus, and we know we can't go to vote. I, mean, I went out yesterday to get plants, tomatoes, peppers, these things. There's so many people there. Nobody had a mask on here in Ohio. So, yeah, obviously, the Democrat states are going to elect Obama again for a third kingdom. You know, it wasn't enough that he had sympathies toward radical Islam and couldn't remember where he was born in what hospital in Hawaii. Bring him back. The reality is here now, the people who are violent, that hate, you're unarmed. This is serious for you in the future, it will be. And uh, for those of you who think Trump's God, think again, he's just a man. But uh, he's right. Human nature, but you know, I could talk a lot about human nature and the things Trump could potentially do. So, reality, see yourself, rise above, mm -hmm. notice the others and their flaws, live on. You know, I always tell students, just because you debate something doesn't mean you have to get all bent out of shape over it. Truth is, if I didn't vote this year, I wouldn't even give a damn. Nonetheless, I got to go on another day right along with the rest of you. In time, we will see, but we have to take back control of our government. And obviously the Democrats and the Republicans are all elitists in the bourgeoisie. And the rest of us are to be treated as proletariat. 
Thank you, Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, who wrote all the Communist Manifesto. Marx didn't write. He was just a schmoozer with the rich. Look it up. I hope you have a good day, y'all. Fun facts with crazy me. Take care. Peace out, y'all.